So, hi John, how are you? Very well, thank you. And how did you enjoy the session today? Very much. A lot of brilliant minds here, all concerned with the welfare of humanity. It's a very compassionate and intelligent conference. And we saw your uh, session today wherein you compared the Vedic sciences with the modern day education system. And uh, so what's the difference uh, that you see that uh, Vedic sciences have which is lacking in today's uh, modern education system? Well, modern education is good at feeding the brain knowledge. But the Vedic system focuses on that, but focuses even more on the development of the brain, the development of the mind, the development of the person. And when the mind is fresh and capable of absorbing knowledge, when the intelligence, IQ increases, creativity increases, that's something that the Vedic science can achieve, especially through meditation, transcendental meditation, which research has shown increases intelligence and learning ability, IQ, creativity. So modern medicine, modern science, modern education doesn't really have that yet. It's starting. There are several thousand schools in the United States today that have brought transcendental meditation into the classroom with amazing results. And within a couple years, it will sweep the country because the effects are so healthy and so good. But right now, the word needs to get out. And this conference is a very good way of letting people know, leaders know, educators know, that better solutions exist in education. And surprisingly, some of those solutions come from the ancient knowledge, which is now being confirmed scientifically in this scientific age as being effective. And uh, yoga and Ayurveda was one more topic which you touched today. So how important is this yoga and Ayurveda in present day life? Well, the one thing that is most important is the yoga aspect. And I don't mean the yoga asanas, the postures. That's healthy. As long as you don't strain, and you don't hurt yourself, it can be healthy. But the deepest part of yoga is yogic meditation, transcendental meditation. And there, even a small dose, 20 minutes twice a day, can prevent most disease and can really help a person grow healthy and live a really rich, long, healthy life. And uh, coming to Ayurveda, okay, Ayurveda, you told that's the Atma uh, level of uh, treatment. So, but the, the, s the results are very slow when compared to the modern uh, day medical systems. That's the reason people prefer this complex medication compared to that. So how do you tell them or educate them to go ahead and use uh, Ayurveda instead of this? Well, if somebody needs a modern medical treatment, I would say go for it. But you, and the effects can be very quick. You take a pill and sometimes, you know, your thyroid hormone will normalize quickly. But remember also that uh, in the long term, propping up the body artificially with medications are not, is not as good at restoring balance to the body from within. Also, the prevention of disease is worth a pound of cure, they say. It's, it's really important to prevent disease and promote health. Modern medicine doesn't so much promote health. It treats the symptoms of disease. And Ayurveda is excellent at the prevention of disease and maintaining very good health. So, thank you, thank you. For, for giving this opportunity and any, any, any message that you want to give to the viewers, uh, Desi Plaza viewers for the day? It's nice to gain a taste of the understanding of these principles, but it's a bit like talking about a strawberry and explaining what it tastes like. Much better to pick up the strawberry and taste it yourself. And I'd really recommend no matter where you live, no matter what country, what, what city, like in Dallas, you take a little, f a few moments to actually look into and learn transcendental meditation because you'll be very, very glad you did. And you won't really understand what it's like until you actually taste the strawberry, until you actually do it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Father. Mm -hmm. My pleasure.